Good morning. My name is Jim Jaquetta. I'm the CTO of Vitovation. Today we are going to demonstrate the uh, range capabilities of the Vitolink Reacher. Uh, in particular, the Vitolink Reacher 2000. The Vitolink Reacher 2000 can go 2,000 uh, feet plus range. Uh, in ideal conditions, you can even get as far as 3,000 feet or more. So here is the transmitter. Here we have a Sony, it's an older camera, but it still works. It's a Sony EX3 camera. We, uh, we have it on a sled. We have an Anton Bauer battery back here. Uh, the Vitolink uh, Reacher uh, transmitter can be powered with a, D, uh, with a um, uh, Limo connector that either plugs into a uh, four pin power connector. So the sled here has a four pin uh, power port, but most of the time people plug into a D-tap. Like you see, there's a D-tap right here. So the unit actually includes a Limo connector to D-tap connector cable uh, to steal power that way. This sled, sled this cable uh, you can buy from Vitovation, but the standard uh, kit includes a Limo to D-tap cable. So this setup is a little bit non-standard, but uh, for this uh, demo purposes, you can buy the cable either way. We're taking the video output from the camera and going into the video input on the Vitalink Reacher transmitter. You can see underneath here, there's also an HDMI input. So if this was like a smaller SLR camera or an HDMI only output camera, we could feed our video input there. If we weren't stealing power from the host camera, we can run the, uh, uh, the unit off of a Sony uh, uh, F970 battery. And the kit includes two batteries and a charger. Uh, uh, so you can, you, if you don't, you know, like on an SLR, you don't have a D-tap. You wouldn't be able to steal power from the SLR, so you would use this included uh, Sony uh, F970 battery. Then we're mounted on, a, on, you can mount on either a hot shoe or a cold shoe. There's a number of different uh, um, uh, pipe mounts, uh, uh, shoe mounts. Uh, the unit has a quarter 20 connection on the bottom. That's where the, uh, the, the uh, hot cold shoe mount uh, is, is in a quarter 20 underneath the unit. And then you can see back here on the bottom, on the face of the unit, there's also another uh, D, uh, quarter 20 uh, uh, mount. You could put a mounting rod into there or mount it on a tripod. So there's there's a, quite a variety of, of configurations. Then we have two 60B uh, antennas uh, on top of the rig. Um, as you'll see in our test, you do get better performance when the transmitter is above your head, when it's above the crowd. So this particular setup, uh, th this is a shoulder mount. I'll have the unit, you'll see later in the video, I'm gonna put the unit up on my shoulder so the, the rabbit ears, the, the ducktail antennas, are above my head. So as I'm spinning around, I always have clear line of sight uh, to the receiver uh, to, to maintain a good, uh, a good video signal. So here we have our, our camera rig. I got our video assist monitor and the receiver. Uh, the reason why I have them all in the same frame is so we can show you uh, how good the latency is. The latency is practically zero. It's about three milliseconds, which is a, a fraction of a frame. So you can see here, if I do the snap test, I can get a good snap going. Or I can do a clap. You can see in the video assist monitor, you, uh, um, you know, just maybe zoom in on the video assist monitor and then you can just hear the clapping and see that it's, it's, it's pretty much in sync. So what do we have here? We have our long range, uh, high gain, 23 dB antenna on the receiver. It's, a, uh, it's got five elements in it. Uh, uh, some of the elements are, are vertically polarized, some are horizontally polarized. So as signals bounce off of different objects while you're transmitting, uh, it's good to have different polarizations in your, in your receive antenna to, to maximize performance. So then this panel antenna, like, as I said, gives us 23 dBs of gain. Uh, it covers 120 degree zone. So like right now, this is aimed this way, so we've, we've got like 120 degree 
coverage. Uh, if the camera operator goes behind the rig, it won't work as well. You won't get as much range because the elements are facing this way. This antenna works really, really well to give us 3,000 foot range. Then you can see here, the receiver has uh, five antenna inputs which are connected to the panel antenna. Um, we have an HDMI as well as an HDSDI output. So, and they're both on or hot simultaneously. So we're using an HDSDI video assist monitor, but let's say we had a cheaper, a less expensive monitor, like a HDMI only monitor. The HDMI could be for your video assist monitor, and then the HDSDI could be the program feed going to your truck, let's say. Um, then you got an on-off power switch, then the, then the receiver also takes in um, um, uh, uh, DC input from an AC power supply. So if you have shore power available to you, if you have AC power available to you, uh, where the receiver is located, you don't have to run off of battery. Right now we're running off of a V-Lock battery. Uh, you can order these units with V-Lock or Anton Bauer battery or use the included uh, DC to AC uh, power adapter. Then we have a signal strength meter, a video presence indicator, a power indicator, as well as a, uh, a rotary channel selector. So we can select what channel the, the Vitalink uh, Reacher operates on. So this is the uh, Vitalink Reacher uh, receiver. I took it off of our, our high gain antenna rig. Uh, the reason why I did that is I wanted to show you the standard setup. So you see you have, we have five uh, RF antenna connectors. The Vitalink Reacher 1000, the standard unit, the one that does not include the high gain antennas, has five uh, ducktail antennas. I don't have them all here with me in the test range, but there would be five of these. So just imagine there's five of these here right now. So what's the difference? So if we connect it to the panel antenna, we can go 3,000 feet, but we're limited in a 120 degree zone. So if you had this, say, in one corner of an end zone going down the, the, uh, the sidelines of a football field, you could cover the, 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 the sidelines and maybe the coin toss in the middle of the field. Um, if you needed to go behind where the receiver is, in other words, say this was in the middle of a racetrack, right and you want it uh, you're running around the racetrack covering something you might want the receiver in the middle of your coverage area in that case you'd use the standard receiver with the five of these standard antennas then you have omnidirectional the, the transmitter can go 360 degrees around the receiver instead of only 120 degrees with the high gain antenna